lab. It is a space where I get to test ideas I want to experiment with. Today we built a bathroom and it's a grubby bathroom, which I'm sure a lot of you at home maybe have a lackluster bathroom that you want to infuse some style and personality. So that's what today is all about. I'm going to do some quick fixes to make the bathroom into an oasis. I also like to, when I'm in a space, think about the person that's going to be using it. I'm going to imagine that it belongs to maybe a lady in her early 20s. Maybe this is her first apartment. She doesn't want to paint the walls, but she does want to make it a place where she can relax. Let's call her Claire. Cool. Okay, so the first change that I want to make in here is the shower curtain. I'm going to change the shower curtain, and I'm also going to change the little rings that are up there. These are beautiful, by the way. They're sort of a hammered nickel finish to them. I thought that the flowers were just beautiful blue and green. They almost have like a watercolor look to them. But also notice that there are some gray tones in this shower curtain, which brings in the gray from the tile. also added a clear vinyl shower curtain liner on the inside here to protect the fabric when you're actually taking a shower. Witness these female female any wrinkle on this planet! Okay. <laughs> so I brought in this shelf. It's very slim because this is a petite bathroom. Can you guys guess what I'm going to use to style the towel rack? Okay, so look what I did here. Instead of getting all one color towel, I wanted to do kind of almost a DIY towel set by creating my own, and I based it off of the color palette that is established here. Sorry, you're gonna go into the laundry room and be used to clean up dirty things. So I'm gonna alternate these colors and I'm gonna put one of these light blue hand towels over the green one and the green one on the light blue plant. This is one of my favorite indoor plants. It is called Devil's Ivy and it just does really well in low light situations. Plants bring in just a zen quality. Glass canisters with lids. Now I love these in a bathroom. They're functional. They can house the items that you use like cotton balls and q-tips but in a decorative way. Extra toilet paper rolls is obviously essential in a bathroom because you don't want to run out and do the walk and huddle. This is just a cute little square basket that I put two toilet paper rolls in. For the back of the toilet, I think it just needs a little something. So this beautiful decorative tray, I love the pattern. A flameless candle, which I think is way safer in the bathroom, especially since it's gonna be under these towels. Let me show you guys how I love to fold towels when displaying them. I do the burrito fold, which is one side in and the other side in. That way you don't have any of the edges showing. You just have a nice little folded line on either side. I'm sorry. Sorry, sheep, you are going. Stainless steel has a modern look. It also functions really well in a bathroom because it doesn't tarnish or rust or anything like that. Petite tamper, I love the basket weave clock. How rad is this? It has wood grain. There is no wood grain in this bathroom and I think wood grain is peaceful. Last thing that we have to change out on this side of the bathroom is this mirror. I have this twine mirror. It has those natural elements. To me, it looks very peaceful. I think you're straight, mirror. I don't want to hurt the previous mirror's feelings, but rugs in a bathroom. They're essential because they're functional, but they can also be a design element. Guys, I think that I am done in here. I didn't have to paint the walls or anything. Just with this inspiration of the color palette in our shower curtain back here, I added the towels, the much needed storage with the shelf, decorated it, changed out the mirror, added a wall clock, some functional items on the sink, hamper and the trash can, and then we finish off with the rugs. Can't forget this cute little setup here. I think it really succeeds in bringing an oasis relaxed feel to this bathroom, which is what I was going for. I hope you guys like it, and I hope Claire, our imaginary girl who uses this bathroom, likes it too. Yay! Our bathroom with those quick fixes is now an oasis. I love the color palette. It's very peaceful, which is how I think a bathroom should be. But I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think? Would you do some of these in your bathroom? I have some more amazing videos coming at you from my design lab, so you don't want to miss them. Thumbs up, right? Cool, yeah. 